Alright, this is a crazy one. If you two, or I guess just one of you, I don't know, if you were stuck on a, a desert island, now uh, not desert island, desert, what what desert <laughs> would you want the island to be? Ice cream. What kind of ice cream or what kind of you, cheesecake? The island is filled with this and you're stuck there and you get to eat it. Chocolate chip cookies and ice cream would be his answer, right? Me? Yeah. No. Oh. What kind of dessert? Cannolis. Cannolis? Oh. Cannoli Island, huh? Wow, that would be tasty. Hmm. How do you like that? Uh, you might throw I'm a little gonna, butter pecan with that. I'm going to say chocolate chip cookies. Very good. You know what? Grandma's lemon bars wouldn't be a bad second. Yeah. Those are so good. How about you? What would you do? Uh, maybe yeah, we... peanut butter ice cream. Are we supposed to be asking the interviewer questions? Oh, yeah, I was going to, when I'm done, I was going to have you guys ask me questions if you wanted to as well. Okay. Um, we got this is your interview. I didn't want to tri- Trivia it. round number three. Okay. Caddyshack trivia. Are you ready for this? Go ahead, Ma. Who performed the hit song, I'm All Right? Uh, you know that one, I'm All Right? The, the theme song at the end. Don't, Shh. don't nobody worry about me, that one? I'm All With right. the gopher? The gopher singing it? I know the song, but I don't know who performed it. Okay, you oh. got Elvis Presley. Um, uh, no, no, no. I'm going to do oh. multiple choice. Four choices. Elvis Presley. Um, uh, Ray Charles. Kenny Loggins. Or Charlie Malta. Loggins. Kenny Loggins? Mm-hmm. Well, if my first guess was going to be James Brown, but it's not him. So I'm going to say Ray Charles. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh Oh my goodness Hello It was, it was Kenny Loggins oh, as my, my What do you mean uh, James Brown uh, did some of the songs in there Steve he wasn't in there either <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh Alright What Jeez oh man <laughs> it's, I can't, it's, it's Your mom insane. says I win everything So you won that one Winning Winning <laughs> What, what is Carl holding while he tells his Dalai Lama story? Um, a watering can, a golf club, a t-shirt, or a pitchfork? What is he holding? A pitchfork. And mom? A ganuga, a ganuga. <laughs> Not a weed blower? A, a blower? Um... Right, well, Dad got it. It's a pitchfork. <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna say pitchfork. Uh, what? Where will Danny's father try to get him a job if he doesn't, uh, you know, get anything lined up by September? Oh, is this a good question? The garbage, uh, you know, garbage man. Um, yeah, he's gonna make him be a lawyer. Uh, just stay caddying as a caddier, or the lumber yard. Which one? Where is his dad going to make him get a job at? Lumberyard, I'll say. I agree. Yep, totally correct. And uh, last one, last Caddyshack question. Which golfer gets struck by lightning? The priest. <laughs> the, oh, yep, you got it. Bishop Pickering is his name, I think. In the, oh, very good. In, in, the, uh, in the, the movie. You got that one, man. All right, I have two more questions. Uh, do you guys have any good movie quotes? Anything that comes to mind? I watched Clifford last night. Did you? Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's in the hole. Nice. That's Caddyshack. That's Shack. Caddyshack, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have a strap. Now you're gonna be talking like this. That's uh, Clifford Martin <laughs> Short, right? Oh God, he's too funny. I can't That's believe we were, we could have seen him. You could have seen, oh yeah, seen alive him. on stage, right? Yeah. Uh, I have seen Clifford. You guys have any websites that you want the audience to go on? <laughs> any, uh, anything, anything you want them to Google or or go on Yahoo and type in? I'm just keep an eye on that juiceman.com. Oh, that's nice of you. From September to oh, April. There you go. Mondays with Malta, 1330 AM, oh, W-E-L-W. Yeah. Awesome. All right, well... I don't have any more questions, so do you guys have any questions for me? 
sure just me. All right, let's hear, let's hear. Uh, what now I'm switching the tables and mom and dad have to ask me some questions. What number pair of shoes are you on right now? Of this year? Yeah. Um. No. Oh, how many have I made so far? How many do you think? It's over a thousand. I don't know how many, but it is. Okay. Because, uh. I think I did try to count one time and I just lost track and just kind of evaluated. Too many to count. Last year I made 325 pairs and then this year I'm at 150 pairs. So that that's just one year, year and a half. So yeah, definitely over a thousand. I don't know how many. Yes, but besides the shoes, you've also created what? Oh, plenty of art and videos. Such lots as? Of, lots of videos. Um, Oh, uh, well, recently this year I made a big mural on my buddy Cooper's Wall in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, he lives in apartment 701 off of Gay Street, if you want to go check that out. Um, it's a, a black and white drawing. It's about six feet of a big face. It's very cool. I've seen a picture of it. Thank you very much. How about apparel? Any clothing apparel did you design? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, some guys in Estonia. Um, I did some t-shirts for them and some shoes matching, first first ever uh, matching t-shirts and shoes for customers, and they are going to be shooting a music video in uh, my, my clothing and shoes, Very so that cool. would be pretty awesome. Yeah, cool. Who, who owns the most valuable first pair of shoes? The first pair of shoes ever? Yep. I think John does. Johnny Boy, John, John Francis Malta. Um, or does mom? They're in our house. Oh, mom, they're in mom, our house mom, okay, mom <laughs> has them. Mom has them, but they were for John for we his need birthday. We the, the gold case to put them in. I guess that we would be. We do have them at we our have house. Them, yeah. What teacher was your most influenced, influential teacher uh, during uh, your high school years? Oh, my, my gosh. Per person or teacher? Teacher. You said teacher. Um, remember Mr. Hunt? Yes. yes. He was awesome. Mr. Hunt, uh, or Mr. Ellis, or Miss Kane and Miss Finley. Wow. Probably out of all those. And Mr. Hunt and Mr. Ellis were what kind of teachers? Religion teachers. They were religious. And I would probably even have to say uh, Miss Neff, my English teacher, she gave us some good books to read. Mm -hmm. That I, at the time, probably didn't like too much, but now I look back and they were. she gave us some good stuff to relate to what we were doing in, in school. And Mrs. Kane and Miss Finley Yeah, Miss Kane were... and Miss Finley were my art teachers. Um, they taught me a lot. All four years I was in, at Lake Catholic High School. Enroll now, students. <laughs> Which was your your funnest moment of Lake Catholic oh. High School? Well, for those that don't know, I used to play soccer. And we almost uh, got to the state championship. Uh, I played central midfield. I was a defensive. I didn't score too many goals. I don't think I scored a goal in senior year, but I got all the headers and moved the ball up the field nicely so that uh, the offense could score. And, and, and uh, how did you have to do that? What was Zell's famous line? What was his famous line? Yes. Uh, I don't know. Quickly, Touch. quickly, quickly. Oh, is that what it was? Yes. Quickly. That's all I ever heard him say. Quickly, quickly. Right. You, you are a great soccer player yeah let's not put it don't be humble and he even Thank you. suffered a oh yeah well yeah i forgot punch. almost i got hit in the face and i got a nice black eye um what was that i had I still, my eye was still black i think for homecoming or was it a prom yeah. or i don't know it was I'm a nice not, shiner coming all right i got a tough question tough question all right since you're nep not nephew or our nephew or your cousin uh He's studying to do all kind of stuff in California. One is that living and, and doing a skit and stuff. Nick, Nick for, Shano, right? Right. So for your question is, give me a chair with the name Juice Man in it. A, a cheer? Yes. As in like a song? Yes. Ad lib. Oh, improv like. Uh, yeah, improv. Total, That's, total, uh, total, total, right. You don't have nothing in front of you. As if, as if I'm a cheerleader? I don't and the understand. Title of this chair is Gee, Ju Ju Juice a Man. <laughs> Cheater. What? I I'm no girl. 
I'm not a cheerleader. How, no, how, how, this is a, this is, is, is a the cheer is a advertisement of oh, the juice so, man oh, shoes. Okay, wow. so you're like a commercial. You're saying. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, so you say your I feet are looking boring, and you're tired of those dumb old brown shoes you wear to work every day. Stop on by to the factory, the sweatshop, where you can find a guy. You look at his feet, he's got something cool on him. And you look up to his head, he's got some orange hair on him. That is the one and only Juice Man. Spells it with a G, two N's on the man, at a dot com, and you'll find some great work that you can buy regularly. Nowadays, he charges $80 a pair for the slip-ons. Chuck Taylor's $120 a pair. If you want those and any other pairs, we'll have to do further. Uh, you'll just have to call him and find out how you can go about getting some cool stuff. Hand painted, hand drawn, to your liking, customized, anything you'd like on there. And uh, that's uh, that's the, the commercial. I think. There you go. That was a decent commercial, right? Yay! Thank All you. Right. For the okay, class. what really, are really your good. most favorite pair that you, you have just, made? Oh. You just stole my question. Too bad. I asked. <laughs> you were saying cheer. I'm like, cheer? I was confused. Uh, my favorite pair I've done? Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. What you have the most fun doing? Um, well, almost somewhat to what Mom said is the colorful ones. Just basically when the cu a customer will say, um, I can't decide on what I want. Uh, you can just go ahead and Create. You know, use your mind and and go crazy with color. Do whatever you want, and uh, those are probably the, the pairs that I I most enjoy doing. And last, what a last pair! I made a pair like that recently. Oh, actually, right now I'm making some uh, some New Balances for um, Brian Morrison and uh, a guy named Max Landis. Those guys are gonna get some cool New Balances. They live in... Very colorful. They live in California. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Two questions Two here. questions. What do you like better? The sun or the moon? Oh, wow. I'll have to say the moon. Okay. Even though I, I do enjoy getting up early right now, uh, most days, and starting the day fresh, the sun, the sun comes up and I can see it out of my window, but uh, at night is great because it's nice and quiet. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know. I've I've spent lots of nights uh, staying up late working on stuff, and uh, it seems that uh, no one else is up, so there's no one to to, to bother you. You're just totally uh, in focus on on what 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 you're working on. I don't know. I think mom likes the night too. 